Once in the right atrium, some of the blood flows to the right ventricle and some of the blood flows through the foramen ovale to the left atrium and into the left ventricle, where it is then pumped out into the aorta to the body. Point of clarification. The flow of blood from the right atrium to the left atrium via the foramen ovale enables oxygenated blood from the placenta to reach the coronary arteries and cerebral circulation, the two most metabolic active organs in the developing fetus. Blood that flows into the right ventricle is then pumped into the pulmonary artery. Because the lungs are fluid-filled instead of air-filled, the vessels in the lungs are narrow, creating higher resistance to blood flow into the lungs. Due to this high resistance to blood flow in the pulmonary circulation and the low resistance to blood flow in the systemic circulation, blood pumped into the pulmonary artery by the right ventricle is more likely to flow into the ductus arteriosus and then into the aorta. Due to the high blood flow from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava up to the right atrium, pressures in the right atrium are higher than in the left atrium. This promotes blood flow through the foramen ovale at the atrial level. Only 8% of right ventricular output flows into the lungs, providing nutrients for the developing lung tissues. Most of the blood passes through the ductus arteriosus into the aorta and out to the body. The umbilical arteries allow blood to flow from the body back to the placenta to be enriched with oxygen and nutrients.